Hello and welcome to this, this review of the B-Ben 2-in-1 Windows 10 projector. I'll start up from the outset. This is a superb piece of kit and uh, I've been really impressed with this. It's far exceeded my expectations. So it arrives with uh, an air mouse, which is this, uh, and this includes batteries, two times AAA. It's very, very simple to set up. Uh, I merely just turned it on. There's a power switch here, another sort of standby switch here, or you can use the remote control. I used a USB keyboard and mouse to set it up just for ease. There is a clear lens protector on the front. Make sure that you uh, remove that before use. Uh, I actually forgot about that and uh, didn't remove it. So on the back, there are power input. It's a standard uh, 19 volt power supply, very much like a, a laptop power supply. You've got a USB here, which is a three, a blue one, another USB here, a two, HDMI, and here there is uh, an audio socket. It's a fairly basic computer with an Intel Atom 1.44 quad processor, 2GB of RAM and a 32GB solid state hard disk. It is suitable for internet, presentations and office tasks. This isn't a replacement for a more powerful computer, but then again, it's not meant to be. There's a standard tripod socket underneath and I'm using it on a very cheap £5 tripod. The fan runs continuously, and whilst it's noticeable, it's no worse than a noisy PC. The brightness really exceeded my expectations. So I'm up here in an attic room. It's a fairly bright day. There's a window there. There's a skylight there. And that is the image which is being produced. From left to right, it is 1.2 metres, or nearly 4 feet. And on the top, I've just blue tacked a standard uh, ruler onto it. Uh, very impressed. It's on a par with some average full-size projectors that I've used. This is projected onto a pale yellow wall. The image is significantly better given the size uh, and the price. Bearing in mind, it's a two-in-one, so you've got a mini computer and you've got a very powerful projector. We tried this uh, on a white piece of paper and it really is a lot better. I'm using this on a wall, so on a standard uh, or even a good white projector screen, this, this, this will be really good. Uh, it's got auto focus and auto keystone and I'll just show you what that means. I'm just going to tilt it and take it off focus and you see it does the standard trapezoid. Then I'm just going to put it down, you see it's auto focused and it's squared it up. Uh, I've not put it back quite straight. That's I did say this is a very, very cheap tripod. There we are. So that's it. Uh, I've tested the projection with, with some test cards uh, available on the internet uh, on YouTube and the quality and clarity is, is superb. So this projector at the moment uh, is 110 centimeters from the wall. And as I say, this is, this is four feet wide. In a dark room, uh, we had this and it was 4 metres wide, about 1.4 metres tall, covering the whole of the wall. bit difficult to, to video, so, so I've not done that. The resolution is 120 by 780, so it's the same as a basic laptop. It does have a built-in battery, and we've tested this for, for an hour, uh, and it ran no problem. The only thing uh, I can't figure out yet is how to get the battery life uh, indicator on this, su such as you'd see on a, on a laptop. I've tried and I, I, just, I just can't figure it out. So this is the uh, normal task manager. You'll see, uh, if I go to CPU, there you go, it's an Intel Atom. Uh, memory is two gigabytes. It came with Windows 10 Home, it was pre-activated and I've run Windows Update without any problem at all. Uh, so after running Windows Update, I've installed some uh, screen recording software. I've put on uh, Firefox as my preferred browser, and you'll see I've got nine gigabytes free of 28. So you wouldn't really want to store too much on this because you, you need some memory free uh, for, for Windows to work on the SSD. But it's got USB 3, so an external storage drive uh, would, would, would sort that out with any problem at all. And just to show, it's, it's standard Windows 10. 
at home. There's no unwanted software. There's no bloatware on this. There's nothing you don't need. Uh, what I also did, I just updated the, the graphics driver, which was easy. It's an Intel card. Uh, so I'm using the latest driver on this. Uh, so yeah, I'm really impressed with this. I have tested other projectors before, sub £100, and really aren't bright. You couldn't use them in a room like this uh, with, with, with daylight. Uh, so yeah, it's innovative. Uh, it's light. Uh, it's got a, a load of uses. Very, very impressed. Thank you for watching.